You need a fast and simple way of integrating support chat for your users without coding or building it yourself. Stay tuned because we're going to show you exactly how to do that. Hey everybody, welcome back. My name is Fergie and I'm a UX designer based in London. In this tutorial, I'm going to go over how you can connect your Bravo app with Comet Chat for in-app chat functionality. This is included in both the business app upgrade and the new advanced plan. I'll be going over all of the tags you need to add to your design, how to set up a Firebase project to manage your users' authentication, plus how to set up Comet Chat users, roles, and groups. Let's get started. Creating chat requires users to have accounts to be identified. So we're going to need to create a sign up and login flow. And we're going to be using Firebase for this. So let's start with these screens up here. First off, you're going to need to create the login page. And the tag that you're going to need to for this is page login. And that needs to go in the artboard name here. Then if they're logging in, we're going to have a text layer here that I've put within a rectangle so it looks like a text box. And on that text layer, we're going to give it the tag component input email. And for password, we're going to tag it component input password. And then when they click the login button, there is an action on that that is action login Firebase email password. Now, if they are signing up and creating an account, we also need to add some tags here. We have the same component input email on the email address text layer and the same component input password on the password text layer. But the button has a different tag. This is action register Firebase email password. So just like that, you can see here. Then if you also want to give the users the ability to reset their password, you're going to want to create a screen that looks a bit like this so they can enter their email address. We're going to tag that with component input email. And then our button here has a different action. It is action reset password Firebase. So those are all of the tags you need for that login and sign up phase. Let's go into our app screens to see what we need to do for chat. Now I'm using our meditation demo app again, and I'm just extending the functionality. So you can see here, other than the sound sections we were working on previously, I've now added in wellness coach and group chat, as well as a logout button. So this way our users can chat one-on-one -on -one with a wellness coach or go into that group chat. So our tags are going to contain a few IDs that are going to be created when we set up both Firebase and Comet Chat. So I've got those highlighted here. At the moment, the Comet Chat integration with Bravo Studios doesn't support video or audio. So just keep that in mind. Now, the tag that we're going to want to add to the artboard for allowing our user to message our wellness coach, or maybe for you it's a support agent, is this one right here. Page, chat, messages, user. And then we're gonna to need to enter a user ID for our coach. So this is like our admin ID, right? So you can see I've put little notes here. We're gonna remove those triangular brackets and we're replacing the user ID with the Firebase UID. So I'll head into Firebase and show you where to get that. So you can create the user here once you're in Firebase. You're just going to enter the email address and set a password. But this is the UID, the user UID that we need to copy. So you can copy the UID. And that is what you want to replace here at the very end of the tag. So you can see that's what this combination of letters and numbers are. That is my UID. And that is for the one-to-one -one chat. Now, if you're wanting to do group chat, it is pretty similar, but it's going to use the Comet Chat group ID. So the tag you're going to want to put on your artboard name is page chat messages group followed by the group ID. So let me go over to Comet Chat and show you where the group ID is. So over here under manage groups, you can see there are a couple of groups here. There is this sample one that's included and then the circle chat that I've set up. So my group ID is circle chat or you could use supergroup. And that is what we want to add in here. So we're going to put supergroup for now. And you can add supergroup because you'll also have that just for demo purposes. 
and then we need to add all our prototype connections. So for me, it's my wellness coach one-to-one -one chat is going to go over here. And then my group chat is connected to that group chat page we've got there. And then in order to log out, we've had to add a tag here, which is action log out Firebase. Now, since this is the app for our users to go through and talk to a coach, we also want to create an app for our coaches to be able to reply to our users and also manage the group chats. I've got my sign-in screens are exactly the same with the same tags for login and Firebase account creation. And then I've got a different main screen so that my coaches can view the chats and then also log out. And for them to view the chat, we need to add this tag to our artboard names, page, chat, conversations. And you can see I've prototyped it so that this view chats button links to our chat screen. And you'll notice that for either version of the app, you actually don't need to add anything onto this artboard. This is just an empty artboard. Once you have finished adding all of your tags to your design, go ahead to your plugins panel into Bravo Studio and create or update your apps and sync those by clicking the update button. So now that I've logged into Bravo and I'm on my apps dashboard here, I can see both my wellness app as well as my coach app that we've just created. So since we need to set up user accounts and authentication, we're going to create a Firebase project and we're also going to set up comment chat with our user types and give roles and permissions and also set up that circle group chat. So once you've gone through and set both those things up, you can come in here and add your UID and your GID to these tags and then you can update again through the plugin. So let's go and jump into those integrations. Once you have the UI ready, it's time to configure a Firebase project to manage the user authentication. So go ahead and log into Firebase and create an account. And what we're going to do is set up a new project, or you can select an existing one. If you're going to create a new project, we can add a project here. You're going to add a name for it. We'll call this one Coach Chat. You turn on Google Analytics, then you get all of the A-B testing and things you would expect. I'm going to leave that switched off for now and just create my project. This will go ahead and create that and it will just take a couple of minutes. Once it's ready, go ahead and hit the continue button and we need to set up authentication. So we're going to select build authentication. Get started. Now you're going to select how you want to authenticate your users. If you are using a social login, then go ahead and select and set up each of the providers you want to use. For example, Google or Facebook. I am using email and password. You could also do phone. So I'm going to select this. And then, so I'm going to click save. And now this is all set up and ready. So we can create a user here. And this could be, for example, my admin user. And I'm going to enter my email address and set myself a password and add user. Now let's go back to our project overview. I'm going to start by connecting it to our app. Now my app is Android, so I'm going to go ahead and select that option. For the Android package name, you're going to want to use com.appfoundry.previewer. I'm going to call this the Wellness Coach app. And hit register. We don't need to add in that last field. And now you're going to want to download this JSON file. So click here to download. That's what we're going to need to upload into Bravo later. Hit next. Scroll through here, next, and continue to console. Now we can go into our Bravo project, go to integrations, Firebase. You're going to enable this. And then you're going to want to configure here. And this is where you're going to drag and drop this JSON file. You can see mine's already done, but that is where you will be uploading it. And then make sure you press save. So that is the login sorted. Next, you need to go through Comet Chat. Once you have logged in and created an account with Comet Chat, you're going to want to create a new project. So hit the plus icon, give it a name. 
I am based in the EU and a use case. Mm, we can select healthcare. Continue and get started. Now, what you'll notice is there will be some test data already in comment chat. So this is really great if it's the first time you're using it, you can get an idea and a sense of how it's all working. To make it even more fun, they've used some superheroes. So you can see that we already have some users here and they are set with a default role. And there's also a group chat here. And this is where we can set the roles. So we'll be creating a new admin role. Default role is what all the users will be assigned by default. This is where you can come in and view any live chats, chat history, any kind of moderation that is happening at the moment. So to get started with roles, I'm going to set up a new role. This is going to be admin, they are coach, and hit save. Now what I can do is go into this role and view the permissions. And because it's an admin role, I do want to make sure everything is selected, which by default it is. So now I can go back to our roles, go into the default role, which will be given to all users and go through these permissions because I don't want regular users to have full permission, the same as admin. So for example, I'm going to turn a few of these off that for me just aren't relevant for the user to have like banning and blocking. I don't want them to be able to view uh, all of the users. So there is a option here, do -do -do -do. list members, list users, this one. I want to turn that off because my app users are only really going to interact with the coaches and then in any group chats that may be set up by coaches. So they're going to just set up their own group chats with other users. It's not really what my app is for. But if your app is for that and you want users to find each other and make their own groups, then of course you can have list users. Uh, I don't want them to be able to have this uh, or unban or unblock. It will allow them to leave a group. They can't kick a member out. And I'm pretty happy with that. So now I've changed my permissions. I could also go ahead and set up a new group chat. So since my app is all about wellness, I'm going to call the name circle. So this is, you know, your circle of people uh, that, you know, I basically am going to set up and users can chat there if they want. And if they don't, then they don't have to, but they could at least have access to it. the group user ID. That's what GUID stands for is going to be circle uh, chat. Going to be public and if you want to add an avatar we can do that i'm going to add an image from a stock website as my image avatar and then this is a little description so safe space group chat for members and hit save you can see that's the image I just added. And if you also want to, you can edit and look at the example superhero group chat. You can see that's the name of it. This is the ID, it's public, there's three members. Um, and that's because you can set your admin, moderator, participant, and you can also see a list of band members. So for example, these two are banned. They wouldn't be able to enter or view the chat. So if I were to do that here, for example, we'll add Captain America and Cyclops. And we'll say that Captain America is our admin and we can set Cyclops as a moderator. We can also create our own users. So for example, we just go to users, hit the plus button. I can add myself as a user. I am going to have a coach role, so that's my admin role number. 
and I can add an avatar for my image. And I can add a URL for my image. And hit save. And what I've done is I've actually added a GIF. So my avatar is animated, which is another option. The avatars can be JPEGs, PNGs, pretty much any image format I've found trying to use so far. So if I go back into my group, my circle chat, I could also add myself, add me to the group. And I can set myself as an admin as well, which means that with the admin privileges, such as banning, kicking users, I could do that within the group chat. So that is pretty much how you set up your users, your roles and your groups. Now let's add this into Bravo. So you're going to want to go to your credentials here. And we're going to copy our app ID. We're going to, go to integrations chat. And this is the information you're going to add here. Your app ID, your region. So for me, that was Europe. So it's EU. And you're also going to want to paste in your authorization key. And this is the screen to get them all from. So you've got your app ID, your region, and your auth key. So once you've entered those three details, go ahead and hit save. Since I'm working with creating two apps, both the wellness coaching app and the user wellness app, which is from the previous videos. And that is because we need the users and the coaches to both be chatting in the same app. For example, obviously I've just gone through this one here, but what I have set up originally, if I were to put my end users in one chat and my coaches in another, they then wouldn't be connected to chat to each other. So both your users and your coaches or your admin support, whatever the role is, that put them all in the same chat and it's the role that defines the differences, not the app. Even though we are actually building the two different Bravo apps for those two different user types to use and access the chats. But now it is time for the fun part. We are going to test out our apps using Bravo Vision to see exactly how chat is going to work for us, both as an end user and a wellness coach. Let's take a look. So from Bravo Vision, we can open up our wellness app and create an account by signing up. That takes us to our menu and we can begin a one-to-one -one chat with our wellness coach. We can then also navigate into that group chat that we set up earlier. And also log out. Now we're going to switch apps and go to our coaches app log in as our coach which is one of our admin users and you can see we're in the different app we can see all of the conversations and start to send replies we can reply both to the one-to-one -one chats and also in the group chats and remember we also have the additional abilities in group chats to ban users, kick users out, as well as delete the group itself. See, I told you it was fast and easy. Now you know how to set up one-to-one -one and group chats using Comet Chat. Don't forget to like and subscribe and let me know in the comments what you want to learn next. See you in the next video. Bye.